This is the geometry practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, this is question number 18. Who knows in the future? A water sprinkler covers a circular area with a diameter of 20 feet. Now, one of the things that you should always be leery of is when they give you something that has a circle in it. And if it's a circular area, that's certainly the case here. So you have this going on. You need to look to see what they're actually giving you. In this case, they're giving you a diameter. That will be important to us as we move forward, because if you think, oh, it's radius, you'll go immediately into the wrong thing. So be aware. If it is set to cover only an arc measuring 120 degrees, what is the closest to the area in square feet the sprinkler will cover? So visually speaking, we're looking at something a little bit like this, and then 120 degrees, and you're going to have to, you know, apologies for what's going to be terribly drawn work here but somewhere in the center is here we're looking at 180 would be straight across so something like maybe that that's not the best but that's a little more than the 120 degrees but anyway but the thing that we have to think about is this diameter distance is 20 degrees or 20 feet sorry this is 20 feet. Now, this is a situation where we're dealing with an area of a sector of that circle, so it's like a part of a circle, so a giant piece of pie, I guess, or pizza, or whatever you want to visualize. I don't have an opinion about it. So essentially, all we're going to do is take the area formula for a circle, and then we're just going to say, okay, well, now we know how much the total area of this is. What about just the part? So we'll take the part out by creating a ratio. So whatever this is, if it was 20% or whatever, we multiply by 20%, right, or 0.2. So we're just going to do it. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so we'll create a ratio of 120 degrees to 300, over 360. This should give us all the parts that we need. The problem is we don't have a radius yet. We're given a diameter. If it's me, and you can do whatever you want, it's your life. If I am given a diameter, I would make clear note to myself that the diameter is 20 feet and then I would just go ahead and say okay well the radius is half of that or 10. If they gave me a radius I might do the same thing for a diameter just as a rote activity for each type of question that way I'll know what numbers I'm pulling out. For instance if you put uh, which is to say if you put diameter's value here you're going to get the question wrong you'll pick the incorrect answer. In fact prepping for this I accidentally did that and got the wrong answer and was really annoyed with myself because I've been doing this a while and I should know better but who knows. I've done a bunch of these over the last few weeks so apologies. So we'll have pi here my r value is 10 and now that I have it there easy to see that makes my life better. Incidentally 120 times 360 is one-third so you could just divide whatever you get here by three if you want. I'm going to tap the whole thing out as needed, so I'll bring the calculator over here. This is a calculator allowed section. Do I absolutely need the calculator here? Probably not, but I'm not going to burn time that I don't have, or may not have, trying to be the hero of the day and not using a calculator. Now, if you don't have a calculator, just use 3.14 for pi. 10 squared is 100, so you just end up being 314, and then you just divide that by three and you get in somewhere in that area. The answer choices are actually far enough apart to where you could figure it out without having to know the exact answer. And since they gave you multiple choice, use it to your advantage. But anyway, there's pi, and that's times 10 squared times, again, you could do divide by three here. I'm going to do the actual fraction You could do a parentheses and do 120 divided by 360, whatever you want. Again, your life. I need to delete that because I don't need it. So that's all the pieces, and I hit enter, and it gives me 104.71, so I'll make a note of that somewhere. And if I'm going to round it um, to the nearest whole number, I'm going to look at this one, look over here, five or more raise the score, 105. So my answer to number 18 is 105. So any situation in which you have a sector, find the area of the larger circle and then just multiply it by the 
in a sense, a percentage or just create a ratio of however many degrees that you're given divided by how many um, degrees in a circle, which is, of course, 360. And for some reason, they gave it to you in radians. You should do 2 pi, blah, 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 blah. And then that should get you to your final answer.